Hello, this is Palico Padge and welcome back to yet another episode of the Curious Expedition. This is a bit of a weird start. As it stands, if you haven't seen the last episode, this recording was actually an hour long. Usually I like to keep them around about the half an hour to 40 minute mark, so they're slightly more manageable to watch and for me to render. But as it turns out, this this one just went on and on and on. So I decided to cut it pretty much dead down centre and give you it in two extra parts. So this is the final third part, or third final part, of this expedition. And as of... The next expedition, if we do survive to the end of this, who knows, Ooh, then it would hopefully go back to normal. But from, from here on in, as you can see, it's a pause screen at the moment. I will be launching straight into it. No more foreplay, just straight into it. Because as I said, this was it. This was me recording as it went. So I didn't even know at this point I was going to be recording. But hey, enough jibber jabber. Let's crack straight on, shall we? I hope you enjoy the episode. Hopefully food. Food will be good, or water. We found something of an extraordinary interest. A decayed shipwreck laid in front of us. It remained a mystery to me on how it had ended up in this place. It seemed to be stranded here for a long time. I tried to decipher the name, Madaninina. This area was marked heavily by animal tracks. Staying here would surely attract some unwanted guests. My instinct said we would find something of value here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. Oh, the irony. Right, okay. Fine. So we've got wildlife. Which I'm not too fussed about. The bird is the word, though. Uh, okay, right, so. Eat. Let's travel to there. I think we're going to be within the domain, or oh, maybe not, of the bird. We'll try there. You bastard. Wow. Well, this is why we've got dynamite and bullets, I guess. Right, so, um, okay. Wolf didn't take a hit there. That's good. So, let's throw that taunt up. Uh, we're going to throw the stun out straight away. In fact, I might even throw out two stuns. You know what? Bugger it. Let's take this guy down. Um, I'm going to throw all the bullets in and a dynamite. I can't take group damage. So. Group damage of 8. Takes it down to 10. I'm going to have to hold off. I'm going to have to hold off. However. We can kick. We can def we can defend. Do I want that? No. I do not. Right, we want planned explosion. Seven. Three. Oh, just a smidge off. Just a smidge off. Right, so. Birdie needs to die. Good start. Uh, right, so we've got 11 here. So, it's a kick. Do I throw up the taunt? Not really. Wolf hasn't got a lot of health left anyway. We'll throw some more bullets in though. Punctuation of four. There we go. Jeez. Right, so. Feathers. I'm going to drop the Moonstone. Um, and uh, have a nice day. So. Let's eat. Let's eat. Uh, let's heal. Can't have anyone getting... Any sort of injuries now. Need everyone. Need everyone. And we, more importantly, need to make it back 
to the heating springs. This is going to be a slow old trek. One slow old track. All right, so eat you, eat the strawberry. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. 20%. I'm doing it. Bastard. <laughs> uh, paranoid. That's all right. William Riker was heard to whisper and mutter from time to time as if he was talking to someone who was demonstratively not there. That's fine. So, food. Zap it. Twenty percent. I've got to risk it. I've got to risk it. Oh, I could have stopped there. Oh, well, never mind. We're on the way now. Uh, eat. Come on, get us up there. We made it. Right. So, um, we're not going to eat because we're going to fill up. Oh no, we need to eat or else we're going to have nasty dreams. Or are we? No, in fact, I think at this point it probably makes more sense just to replicate and rest on zero sanity, which means we're going to get a negative hit here, but I'm hoping it's going to be something light. Oh. <laughs> Exhaustion was our nemesis. It was difficult to ignite the fire. Des depressingly so. I hope that my eyes were playing tricks on me when I saw Edmund Kneebone stride back into camp with blood on his hands, fingers and lips. I searched with the meagre daylight that remained but could not could find no trace of Georgie the Forge. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, uh, let's rest again. The mood was buoyant as I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. The scorching heat of midday had turned into a bitterly cold night. Luckily I was well prepared and had brought additional layers of light clothing. The night was perfectly still and I was alone with my thoughts. I mean, at least he didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so there we go. Uh, full grown sleep. I carefully noted the position of stars in the otherworldly night sky. I noticed one especially peculiar star cluster. I'm sure somebody in the Western world would appreciate this information if we survived. All right, so we are overburdened. We are overburdened. All right, let's leave. Um, I'm going to eat the mushroom. Keep people's happiness up. However, I'm going to have to drop something in the second anyway. Decrease loyalty. All right. Um, so let's... Uh, are they aggroed onto us? No. Let's replicate and examine the tomb. The tip of a pyramid had been almost completely enveloped by the sand. It is likely to be a grave built by a long forgotten civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. We entered the dark tomb. Mankind had not set foot here for hundreds of years. There was a stone sarcophagus in the centre of the small chamber. Dust and decay filled the air as we lifted the cover from the sarcophagus. Oh! Alright. Alright. What am I going to drop? I mean, 100 fame. 70 fame. I think it's going to have to be the spider legs and the bird feather. I mean, I've got 16 teeth still. So there's no need for that. We grabbed the treasures and left determinedly. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. All right. So we want to go kind of in that direction. Hoping to not get the spiders all angry with us. I think that just keeps out the reach of the spiders a little bit better if we go that way. So we'll go to there. Don't you dare. Oh dear. That's alright. That's alright. So uh, let us eat. Uh, let us replicate. Let us get up high. She's not going to be happy. 
she's not going to be happy. Uh, Shrine towered above us. It looked as old as time itself. One would have to climb up the face to reach the entrance. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water beneath our feet. Oh, bugger. Actually, it doesn't affect us whilst we're up high, so that's good. Uh, let's uh, use the rope. We use the rope to safely heave ourselves up to the entrance. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. We had quietly looked around the majestic hall. I held my breath as I discovered an ancient altar in its centre. <gasps> <sighs> you don't stack, do you? Of course you don't. Alright, okay. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water burst through the ground and began to flood the surrounding area. We had to run like our lives depended upon it, or drown in the Grand Lake forming around us. Cool. So, E-T-T-T-T. -t 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 -t. We are overburdened. What are we going to drop now? I mean, I would say everything else is essential. Other than the shovel and the map. It's just more going out of our way to grab stuff. Uh, we've still one slot overburden, though. I mean, arguably, arguably, so we've lost die as well. I think at this point it might be worth upgrading data. Just to lock in those extra die. Uh, let's, um, oh, tough decision. Let's drop the rope, I guess. I don't think I need the rope for anything else. Oh, I need it for that one. Or else climb and possibly fall and lose someone else. All right, so the rope is needed. Um, dynamite or bullets? That'd be the question. I mean, are these all 70 funds? The Golden Goblet's only 50 funds, and we've got more treasure to come. We're too far away for me to want to drop that stuff right now. We've, I mean, look at all that danger. Look at all that danger. You know what, screw it. Let's drop the dynamite. Let's drop the dynamite. Right, so, eat up. How far can we get? Not very far. And the water's on top of us already. Awesome. Uh, 35 to you. 36. Let's go to there and hope we don't incur the wrath of the hyenas. Good start. Replicate. Eat, eat, eat. Uh, I mean, we need to go south, really. Uh, maybe I'll stop here and drop some stuff off. Let's do it. If the, I'm going to say, if they're going to hit, they're going to hit us. Oh, we got poisons. We got poisons. Right, so. You are stunned. You are stunned. And you shall die. And then we'll just work on you. So. Well. That's two, but we might get another one. Or not. I don't want to be wasting these bullets now, because we might get into other fights. We don't need them right now uh, to, to pull them out when we can carry on stunning. So we'll just focus on the stuns. And then just carry on taking them out as we go. You're down. You're down. Cool. Uh, take the... Oh. Maybe not take you. Take you? Maybe not take you. 
Right, so. Oh, I could have entered the mission. Oh, well, never mind. We'll do it now. Uh, excess of storage. Get rid of all the gold. I don't think he had any food. He might have some water on him. Water would be helpful. Let's have a look. Uh, trade. No. No. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trade just for food when we don't need food. And I got rid of the map, I could have picked up another shovel. Bugger. Oh well. I think I need to, to just get back at this point. Uh we could trade. So we're gonna eat five now. No, we'll be fine. No deal. We're fine. Hmm. Are we fine? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, let's uh, let's eat. I mean, at this point, do I just go for the shrines? Now I've got the space. Uh, the natives are angry. I think we just go for the shrine. Let's get out of here. Uh, stop. So we've got some people to fight. Uh, we're going to... Uh, replicate. And wait. Stop. And attack. <sighs> Shouldn't have got rid of the dynamite. Alright, never mind. Let's, uh, let's crack on with this. Oh. Fatal blow. Repost. Precise attack. Kick. Do I want to put some more shields up or do I just go for the repost again? We'll go with the repost. What's that? Five? We'll throw in a die. Get some more shields up. Let's put the taunt on. Ooh. That'll do. They're not gonna break through. Pop. What you got? Food! Food! I'll take it. Right, so. Um, We're about to die. We are about to die. So let's do that. Eat, eat you, eat you. And that's where we need to travel. No, no, no. To you. To you. To you. That's the only way we can survive. Stop. Oh, you bugger. I press stop. Go on, then. Do your worst. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We should be able to kill a few. So, I'll focus on you. Take you down. I'll hold on to these for kicks. You. So we'll kick you. Kick you. I think I'll have to throw up the taunt this time around. How many die do these guys have each? Not a lot. We've got no shields down yet. We've got a couple of shields. Yeah, we're good. So you, you, and you. More food? More food! Medicinal honey. I mean, we could take that. 
clears the mind of all ailments. Actually, that'd be really useful. I'll we'll take that. Let's, uh, hmm, let's we use that first. Oh, we're going to have to use it on Deanna Troy. We'll use some medicine as well. So, data heal, Mika heal. Not worried about knee bone, he can die as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that needs to be you. Oh, so I could actually choose who I wanted to use it on. Great. Awesome. Right, let's um, eat a couple of those and replicate. Heat the foods there to 60. She's going to love me. She's going to love me. I am. No, I'm not going to take another hit because that guy will end up eating another person. Oh, for the love of God. Actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, let's take out these shamans first. Roll! Uh, four. Let's throw some of these in as well. So, let's... Let's do Old Faithful. So, you and you. That was a waste. Never mind. Uh, we'll go on you next. I want to kill you outright. Don't think I can do it. I want to hold on to those and see if I get better rolls. Do any of them have just one die? No. Okay. Um, Wolf hasn't taken a hit yet. It probably makes sense to put the taunt at this point because we're not going to kill everyone. We'll hold on to you for a second. And we've got a kick going there. I think I've got a... Hmm... I've got to go for the defense at this point, I think. So, I'm going to whip him just to kill him. And then I'm going to fill up on defense. So, four shield. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to you and... Oh, do I... Do, mm. I mean, I can always hope for the best. Well, we got a kick out of it. That's fine. Here we go. That didn't go too badly. Right, so. Six and eight. I mean, the spears are probably people I need to focus on. So, uh, we'll do a kick on you. Kick on you. Four. Am I best throwing up some shields myself? Shield repost. And a shot is him dead. Oh, he's a bad die. He's a bad die. Um, right, let's throw in the last two of these. Strong bleeding on you. So he's dead. And then I suppose at this point it doesn't matter too much. We'll headbutt him and taunt. Uh... There we go. More food, please. Oh, ooh, awesome. Definitely taking you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Now we're overburdened. Right, so, um, firstly, I am going to use you on Deanna Troy. That gets rid of her hating the height, which is good. Um, we now... 30. 
Let's get to that. I think we're going to have at least one more battle. What's going on? Infected wound. Okay. Well, let's heal you. I'm not going to heal anyone else because we're running low on first aid kits. So at this point, we need to eat again. And take the hit. I've got to take the hit. Please. You bastard. Infected wound. That's fine. That's fine. Um... I've got to heal him. I've got to heal him. Right, so let's eat up. We know what's coming. This is a celestial shrine, so we need to scarp a sharpish. A shrine towered above us, time had eroded once what had been a majestic site. What remained of a narrow staircase led to the only entrance. Celestial symbols of the sun, moon, and stars were carved on the various surfaces of the structure. So we'll rope it up. Let's go on inside. What you got for me? None of it stacks, of course. Of course. What a glorious day. Nothing has begun to form. We know all this. Uh, we are two slots overburdened. So if we eat that, that should cancel it all out. I'm hoping it doesn't spread too quickly. Oh, God. Uh, the, the positive of this is we're going to get food. So let's get the food, shall we? Let's eat first and get the food. Oh, there's just more and more of them. Oh! Right. So. Kick for you. Oh, wrong one, sorry. A kick for you. You get a shot. You get a shot. We need to throw the taunt up, and at this point, I think we just need to <coughs> shield as much as we can. We do have the spear. Let's use the spear. Spear throw. Spear attack. Power spear. That takes you out. Um, kick on you. And this dies all the way, I think. Come on! No. Well. <coughs> uh, so, kick for you. And a repost. Throw the taunt up. Kick for you. More reposts. Holding out for that damage. We need the gun. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Never mind. We're good. We're good. All right, so. <laughs> Kick for you. Kick for you. Defense on you. Die on you. Give me food, damn it. Ah. Right, cool. No, I don't want to go there. Right, can I use you on anyone? No, we're not worried about Edmund Kneebone. Three slots overburdened. We're going to eat. 44. Eat the cocoa. Eat the cocoa. Eat the cocoa. No one takes a hit. Of course they don't. Right. Eat the, 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 the buttery stuff. Get me home, sharpish. Jeez. Wow. And of course they follow me. Return. The, the captain greeted me as we approached our ship this morning. Laying eyes on her again made me feel a little homesick. Sail home victoriously. With all the compiled information on the Golden Pyramid, my work here was done. In a glorious moment, the ship left the shores. Our vessel set a course for home. I could not wait to read the story of our return in the newspaper. After all this hardship, great joy overcame me. I knew that my name, Captain McCard, would be forever remembered. Victory! Ah! That was epic. Heroic! Even. Oh, marvellous. Right, so we have got Occult Vision, reveals the locations of stone circles, not too fussed about you. Expert, receives an additional universal die, or occasionally pick up a berry. Well, we occasionally pick up a berry now. So, I think I'm going to go with Expert. Could do with the die. Huzzah. 
Right, so. Mr. Darwin's up there. Tubman's right behind. Gar well, let's face it, Garvey and Crowley are out of the, uh, the, the fight at this point. Uh, we're going to keep all the teeth. Keep all the teeth. Uh, we are going to gift that. Uh, gift that. Gift that, 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 gift that. Keep, 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 sell and gift. So we are now a thousand fame ahead. <laughs> we got 400 funds and we're going into our last expedition in a pretty good position in all fairness. We can go to the Grand Corrupted Lands or the demanding prehistoric lands. Let's make that decision next time, shall we? Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.